What's up, guys? Today, I'm going to Tide Pools to search for tidal animals, and it's going to be super sick. Right now, I'm boulder jumping to get to the be actual beach area, and I am super excited. Let's go! Ha! Ah, the mighty Atlantic Ocean. Somebody threw a tire or something down there. Over here, there's usually a little beach area, but it's high tide, and the waves crash against the rocks. Also, I found this cool tide pool on the rock with some cool snails and mussels. Here's one of the snails, they're really cool. They have like black and white lines on them. They're pretty sick. Also, I think these things are mussels. I'm not exactly sure. If you know what they are, comment below. Here's a nice shot of the snails on the boulder. If you're enjoying this so far, why not like the video? So right now I'm standing on the pillow and the waves are crashing against the pillow and there's also mussels on it. Here's another little pool of water with mussels in it. Here the water wings and waves against the pillars and the rocks. boulder hop a long way to get to the actual sandy beach. It's pretty fun to watch, actually. If I could do this as a job and get paid for this, I definitely would. We got in our little pool. Really nothing in it, though. Say goodbye to the boulders, and hello to the sandy beach, baby. Now we're gonna walk in the shallow water and a bit deeper water, all the way up to these tide pools where we can catch some animals. Now, guys, I'm walking in knee-deep water. Up there, it looks like there's like a seagull eating some type of fish, like maybe a fish head or a fish body. To me, it looks like a goby or something, but it could be like a drum. I have no idea, but I know it's flying away with it. And then I chase it right there. So I found its head. It's definitely not a goby. I have no idea what it is. If you know, comment below. Now I'm going to chuck it to the seagulls. It's right there. Let's see if anybody takes it. Yep, a seagull took it and dropped it. And now another one took it. Bye-bye, buddy. Over here, guys, I found a massive jellyfish just sitting on the beach. That's sick. Guys, right here we got a little jellyfish. I'm trying to push him back. There we go. There goes the giant jellyfish. Now we're almost at the tide pools. On these like little pillars here, they have like messages and phone numbers written on them. It's cool. So now we're at the actual tide pool rocks and they have a lot of like cool algae and stuff on them. You can also see sea anemones, which are really, really sick. You also have like some sort of shell. Maybe it's a hermit crab and it's alive. I don't know. No, that's a little baby conch. Okay, now it's time to put him back. Boom. Okay guys, down here we have more mussels and enemies, and I'm gonna let it suck my finger real quick. According to somebody I know, if an enemy sucks your finger and actually gets its venom in you, it hurts so much that your friend has to pee on you. We have a giant enemy down there. Down here I thought I found a hermit crab, but it actually turns out to be the shell of a deceased snail. Over here we also have a large quote unquote pack of mussel. Guys, we got another like conch right here. He's stuck to the rock. Let's get him off because he's in a dry area. Okay, so guys, we got another little conch. And we're going to put him in this bigger area. Bye-bye. Guys, right down here, I found a hermit crab. I, I see multiple down here, but I only caught one. Guys, I see multiple hermit crabs in there. We got more enemies right here. They're practically in almost every patch of water. The Atlantic's a good ocean. We got a nice big shell here. Let's crank it. Guys, I'm gonna climb onto these rocks to explore. Here's the conch from earlier. It was moving a second ago, but when I came, it stopped. So I found a nice scallop shell right here, but I don't need it. I'll just toss it to see if an animal or somebody else gets it. So right here, I found some like netting or wire or something that was stuck in the ground. Right now, I'm trying to pull it out so I can make sure a fish don't get in it. And I'm just gonna put it right here so somebody else can take it to the trash. It might seem like I'm a little frick for leaving it there, but we're legit parked a mile away and I have a camera. So guys, we have a pelican surfing on the waves. Not legit, it's literally surfing. I'm gonna run with the waves! So here's a little time lapse of me walking through the water back. And then I am gonna climb on the boulders and see if there's anything over here. And I just checked on the jellyfish again. He was doing not too good. He was literally washed up on the land. And we'll see you there. We are back and better than ever. And I'm gonna hop between these pillars. So right here I found that these rocks are almost always underwater so they can grow like this pink and white and green seagrass. It's sick. I don't even know what that is. It's literally pink and white. I've never seen it's it. It's like before. a coral reef right here. Like some of the grass is pink. That's sick. 
Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Peace out, dudes.